Here's the bench. Black mold, black mold, black mold. No waterproofing. Party backer, a seam right there. No red guard, aqua defense. No waterproofing at all. No waterproofing on this bench. A ton of black mold all over the place. I gotta put my mask back on. Now that just simply blows my mind. No waterproofing on a large bench. Crazy stuff. Getting to the pan again, pan liner. We have a dry pack, we've got lath there. Check this interesting thing out. Check this out. That's pretty crazy. Subfloors rotted out. Pre-slope just crumbled.
Got the mini monolith for cutting our 12 by 24. So here's the big back wall. Left tech is our tile leveling system of choice. Fantastic system. Everything's flat, everything's level. Here's the double niche setup. We've got miters here. If you want to take a look, those are very clean miters via IQ tile saw. Alternative to a register, we have a vent right there. Simply use the plunge option on your tile saw and cut some slats. Got a Wayne's cot installed. The back wall's done. Our HVAC register is there. Quick dry fit. It looks like that is tight enough for us. Water.
let's get right to it. Everything is complete. Let's bring you inside and show you the final product. Here we go. Let's move on to the shower room. This is a very large shower room. We installed approximately 350 square feet of hard rectified 12 by 24 porcelain. As you can see, the grout lines do disappear. Our prism grout is an exact match. We'll quickly start here. We've got Wayne's cot. Turned out with Schluter Jolly. We have Schluter Jolly turned out here as well. We mitered this pony wall again. Everything was rotten when we demoed the original shower. We installed a new subfloor, framed out a new pony wall, and framed out a new bench. So the pony wall is here, capped off with quartz, mitered at this outside corner, and trimmed out with Schluter on this corner. Glass panels were installed, clear. Brush nickel brackets makes this a frameless panel install. Bring you on into the shower. The valve we installed was hands grow. Valve, handheld, and a hands grow ceiling mounted rain head. We installed additional can light there as well as a vent fan light combo up there as well. Let's bring you on over here, we have a custom vent. Cut out from our 12 by 24 porcelain. Bring you on into the double niche setup, Jack and Jill. 12 by 20 niche. Decorative glass inlay. Again, quartz for the sill with the proper pitch and slope. Identical over here as well. We mitered the sides, the top, the sides, the top of both niches to give it a very clean look. Let's quickly move on to the shower pan. This is a prefabricated Schluter shower pan with Schluter drain kit. Proper pitch, proper slope for proper water drainage to the drain. Here is our large bench. And mitered there and mitered on the inside corner. We have solid surface quartz for the bench top. This color complements the wall tile very, very well. Let's move on up to the windows. These windows were a bit of a challenge. Quartz for the sill on both windows and we mitered left, top, and right of both windows and the layout was at a 50% offset. And there it is, folks. I